In this video, we will try to beat Pokemon with a custom team based off of the Earth's Mightiest Heroes called The Avengers. On the last videos, I showed you the Avengers team we are using and the villains we are up against. But this time, let me show you the whole gameplay including many bonus Marcinian Pokemon. This is Periverse, let's go! We start off our adventure by saving this dude with our first Avenger. Ito na, let's do this! Nope, wrong team. Wrong universe. There you go, our first Pokemon. He then gave me our starter which we used to raid a rival who seemed very shady. You have 6 Pokemon, I have 1. Fighting the Hydra agents weren't that bad but one of them lived after one max punch and actually lowered Cap's attack and defense and I just hope it won't affect us too much later. Before I forget, be sure to subscribe if you want to see more of these types of videos and leave a like as it helps the channel a lot. Then we faced our starter's real rival, Red Skull, and it literally went down to the wire. We exchanged attacks and this happened. Even with minus 1 attack and defense, we took him down and won our first rival battle. But of course, I know we need more than Cap to beat the game, so we caught these two Pokemon lurking just outside Old Ale Town. Let's welcome Marcinian Lipard and Marcinian Decidueye. Going against this guy's Puchiena and Shroomish Hawkeye immediately showed how deadly his arrows can be. Then we accompanied our newfound friend to catch his first Pokemon. Yo, yung headgear! But honestly, I had mixed feels about it. Then Black Widow sent this kid home who was stepping on some Pokemon on the shore. And we helped this civilian who was being harassed by this bandit looking guy. Sorry again, Puchena. Challenging the first gym, I had to avoid double battles just to be safe since I knew Mac Punch and Low Kick won't cut it. And on cue, Cap learned Arm Thrust. <laughs> Now with Black Widow slow kick and cap with arm thrust on my team, we got our first gym badge. Again, we saved the innocent guy from the bandit looking guy but now he gave us a mission. And a great ball. And we meet this Hydra member again and with me having 3 members now there's no way we lose. I felt confident with the way Cap started, not until her new Pokemon showed up and set up on my face. After getting growled again, Cap's arm thrust was doing nothing so I had to switch to Lipard, who did not take the punches that well and... Yeah, we got swept. Then we tried again and made sure to win this time. Then we tried again hoping to move on but let's go cap let's go one two no cap no oh my gosh then we sent out hawkeye who stuck with the game plan and hit four pin missiles and also we need a little chip damage on her tyrogue and hopefully black widow finishes this fight for us this time then the duel of century commenced when Taskmaster flexed his swordsmanship over Black Widow and gets punished by being paralyzed. That was honestly so clutch or lucky. Taskmaster also missed some attacks that definitely favored us, helping us get the second rival battle win. Now we head straight to Dufort Town to deliver this letter to a man who according to Mr. Stone will give me something that can help us. I handed him the letter which suddenly made him uncomfortable, he seemed unsettled and suddenly just bounced. I wonder why that still wing man hiding in this cave. Oh, what's this? Dear Stephen, the one I sent you to deliver this letter can be trusted. You can tell him our secret, or at least give him a hint. Hopefully he's not dumb. Stone. Our new member, I knew it! Hey. There is no way I'm going out of this cave without nope. catching this, so fortunately we got it on the fourth try. Then we went straight to this gym who was already sus from the beginning for being too dark. 
Then Cap joined Iron Man where we found out that these guys were the goons that hid him on the cave. I've always wondered why this gym was unnecessarily dark. It's not even a dark type gym. But so far we've had no problems dealing with the ones we've faced. I then noticed that everyone here is using fighting type Pokemon so you know who I'm gonna use against the gym leader. A normal type Pokemon. The Saijuai was doing well, firing arrows from afar but almost died when this matchup sprinted up close and hit us with plus one karate chop. Then Hawkeye ambushed this Meditite having her meditation sessions. See? I know they can touch Hawkeye since their arms are too short to reach him. And just like that, Hawkeye saves the day. We set sail again and went straight for a top secret mission and beat up these two goons so bad that they had to call their boss. And even when we only wanted refreshments, Hydra sent enemies our way but it's fine because... Finally our first evolution! Let's go! Let's go Cap! Yo! Then after going a little bit further... Yay! Our second evolution! Upgraded Iron Man, let's go! Let's go! The timing was perfect because it was right before we fight our rival again. I led with Black Widow to take on the Hydra agent but he took it so well so I had Iron Man call the Iron Legion because you know, we are not messing around this time. Ha! You can't touch me! You can see that Red Skull almost exploded due to frustration when it realized he can't break through Iron Legion. Giggle she. Ooh, dead! Then we anxiously wait for her to go out to her Taskmaster and Iron Man actually handled him pretty well this time. And even burned him on the process. Iron Man had to go down but Lipard made sure it won't be wasted. She sends out her new Pokemon Registeel and tried to hawk her way out so we just fought back out of desperation. But when I thought Black Widow had him on the ropes, we missed two attacks that caused her to go down but good thing Cap was there with the priority Mach Punch. Isang Mach Punch na lang to. Let's go! Bye May. Then we finally reached Moville where Wally challenged us to a battle since he wanted to show us his new team members including Bucky! It was an adorable reunion between Cap and Bucky who were actually old buds and honestly they would look cool as crime partners. And his Curlia actually learned some move but still didn't do anything to Iron Man so I told him he may need to do some more training but I think he didn't take it so well. Anyway, we went on to Watson and after beating all the gym trainers as a team, Cap said he'll carry from here and with his shield boomerang. Yeah, that, that's a boomerang. That's a boomerang. Obviously, Cap was able to tank their attacks and deal huge damage earning us the third badge. After beating the third gym, we went north where I sent out Iron Man and Black Widow for a quick interview with these two. Then I found out that it was not just regular ashes that's falling in Route 113 but it was infused with Gamma. And that's where we found our fifth member. Yo! Ang angas ng ugat! Black Widow and Iron Man tried their best to weaken it to give us the best chance of catching it. But as expected, he wanted to destroy whatever it sees and sets up two bulk ups then took down Iron Man. After multiple tries, it finally joins up nope. after Cap was the one who talked to him to his senses. Let's go, another psychic weakness. <laughs> we caught this Red Hood guys talking about a legendary Pokemon and just ran after the bandit threw them away. On the way out, we found out what they were exactly talking about. Yo, this looks cool. That is fire. No, that is actually thunder. Thor actually blasted Hulk with multiple shockwaves and even took a brick break to the face on the process. But after a crit stomp and a Pokeball thrown, it decided it needs to recover so it roared us away. No! 
now! No! Of course, we came looking for it and finally caught it while it was still weak. We're complete! Then, it was time to deal with something serious when the Red Hood group was making fuss at the peak of a volcano. Ano pinagagawa ng mga to? The two new members teamed up to destroy this double battle against the Red Hood guys. It was just too easy for them. Thor proceeded to showcase its immense power until we faced Maxi, the group's leader. Maxi sends out his blade who uses Super Fang which guarantees 50% damage which was huge before tanking an attack from a god. It also continuously bodied Thor like his gore or something. It miraculously predicted a switch to Hulk and uses another Super Fang but it was obviously too frail for the Gamma monster. Kang comes out and amazingly took Hulk's attack pretty well. It resisted going down to Pangoro and actually knocks the Hulk down after a potion and 2 meteor mash. Then Thor comes back out to revenge kill Kang. Max's ace Pokemon is this insane looking Infer Dash and it sets up a curse and takes down Iron Man and its proxy armor. I'm dead. For sure. Okay, I have a plan. Black Widow tried to help the team out by disabling this monster but eventually goes down after two stab sacred fires. Cap also tried to live an attack and actually did but unfortunately got burned and went down to residual damage. Thor goes out and prayed to the gods for the best and thankfully he was heard. And I knew then I wouldn't want to face Ghost Rider ever again. We had no time to rest because we have Flannery coming up, and we have no water type. It would have been much easier if I taught Rock Tomb to Hulk, but instead, hey, Cap said he can do this all day. Black Widow did her thing to blind camera up, and Hulk just popped off and smashed it to the ground. Thor Cole goes out and uses a track, so I had to switch out and let Thor get the heat badge for us. We went back to Petalburg through a shortcut to challenge the next gym leader. Most of the time, the gym trainers have been more difficult than the gym leaders themselves. Including this penda. Okay. Black Widow high jump kicked her way through Vigoroth and Linoon while tanking their hits except for this lacking facade. I should be faster. No! Then the battles of the giants commenced. And after loafing around, Slacking tries to make Hulk fall asleep, not before he goes down to a critical brick break from the green monster. Then I went back to Moville for an interview when I noticed I'm kinda underleveled and should probably try training more. So I challenged all the trainers I skipped and got some coverage moves like Sludge Bomb from Duford and Ice Beam from the game corner. And oh, there's the guy who gave us Iron Man. Bye! Then in the middle of the rainforest, I bumped into a scuffle when I didn't listen to the bad guy outside but it turned out great for me because... Okay, good job, good job. Yo, is, is this... Yeah, this is our last evolution. Yo, ang angas nung shield. And you already know I had to test out Cap and Iron Man in a double battle and they didn't disappoint. So far, Cap has been consistent but not amazing. You know what I'm saying? Oh, this Hydra member again. Come on. Second to the last meeting na natin to, diba? She sends out her Loki and the little sibling reunion was cut short because I'm afraid to go up against Thor if ever her Loki uses Transform. Ayun na nga, sabi ko na eh. I switched to Hulk to deal super effective damage to it but it actually hurt Pangoro before going down to a brick break. Hello there. Then she sends out her final ace, Galactus. And I had to switch out to Iron Man to resist his psychic type move and fire a super effective ice beam. 
Yes, two hits. Yes. Okay, we know we take that. Iron Man can take that. Then we got a low roll and Galactus takes out Iron Man. Of course, meron ka rin psychic type move. Of course. I tried doing damage with Cap before he gets knocked out when... Let's go, Captain! Cap has been consistent but not amazing. Taskmaster thought that one Mach Punch would be enough but instead he got hit by a Mjolnir to the face before Cap goes down. Thanos comes out and intimidates Black Widow forcing a switch to Thor who is actually immune to dragon type moves. Nope. Thanos resists Thunderbolt so I had to use Bite for neutral damage and suddenly it became a heated showdown between these two big time Pokemon again with fate in our side. Well, that's DC. Strange. Strange on our side. And that's how we defeated May this time. Against Winona, Iron Man had a field day freezing these enemies including this banana dinosaur. Thor also wanted some part of it but only hit neutral damage to Altaria and she was able to set up one B dance and also it had Earthquake which scared the heck out of me so I had to get her out of the field. I set up my own damage boost to secure the kill once it comes back. Let's go Thor, tapos na to. And just like that, we defeated the flying type gym. After spending all my supplies, due to these trainers, I need to buy full heals and po- Oh. We started the game okay by still hitting jump kicks even after Ultron calling more drones. So I had to switch out to resist the obvious extrasensory and melt Ultron down but I had to switch out to Hulk to deal with his taskmaster who busted the plus 2 aerial ace. Pero okay din tong taskmaster ah, pero mas gusto ko yung bata. Stop! Hulk retaliated but he leaves and fires another aerial ace which almost took us out. Red Skull finally gets a kill after a long time but immediately suffered the Arrows of Pain by Hawkeye. Nobody calls it Arrows of Pain, right? No? Okay. I sent out Black Widow to disrupt his Galactus but it lands a critical freaking hit. Our trio were the last men standing but was no match to Galactus so we know what we must do. We went straight to the nearby graveyard to bury our frustrations and trained up for a second go. This time we have to play perfectly. No mistakes. Are you sure about that? We were able to fire a thunder wave but he sets up two double team but Black Widow paralyzed him like how he disabled Pietro and she shuts this evil computer down. His Paradise Galade sets up two swords dance on Entei's face and got roared by the God of Thunder. <sighs> Thor sets up one Calm Mind while Red Skull misses a super effective Bone Club and dies after getting hit by a Thunderbolt. Galactus goes out and deals damage to Thor and Thor bites back but ultimately goes down after 3 Psychics. Marcinian Sizer aka Iron Man aka the Cosmic Stopper took her Galactus attacks like a boss and fires two Ice Beam and tells him to go devour another world. Taskmaster became too greedy and tried to set up two swords dance again and suffered under Pangoro's green paws. Then Loki flatters Hulk like he always does but Hulk lands a clean brick break before switching out. Zoroark finally decides to transform so thankfully I switched to Cap for an epic Cap vs Cap mini duel. Cap did it back down to her newly evolved Thanos but his boomerang didn't do anything to it and gets burned again. So I knew I had to let him go down this time. Black Widow lives after one Dragon Claw and does her taser and smoke bomb thing which led to the Mad Titan missing his second attack and her third attack. 
and her fourth attack and gets fully parried to death. Then we went straight to a volcano where we soon found Maxi. With the knowledge we got from our previous encounter, we sent out Black Widow to taste Blade and go to Iron Man to deal with him. Then as expected, he sends out Ghost Rider to wipe out Iron Man. Again, he sets up one curse and knocks Lipard out. Then Hulk, due to frustration with his performance on the last major battle, brought Havok and clapped the last two Pokemon easily. Now that we've finished that, we head on to the next island. And I made sure to fight all the trainers to gain the most XP to fight our dreaded Psychic type gym. I know this won't be easy due to our team composition and honestly, I underestimated Lunatone and it came to bite us in the butt. It sets up a light screen and it had all the moves needed to make this battle hard for us especially the half of our team is weak to Psychic. Lunatone and Solorak proceeded to knock all our members rendering Cap, Black Widow, and even Hulk pretty much useless. But good thing we had Entei on our team and pretty much carried us to victory. Then Nick Fury assisted us to go somewhere and as we went deep into the underwater cave, we met the Blue Bandit leader. He starts off with Kang who just resisted to die to Chestnut and even sets up one iron defense. So I had to bring Sizer out who melts him down when he was just in the middle of wishing. Neymar comes out and uses Surf which deals a huge amount of damage. Cap uses Thunder Punch but didn't even hit the half mark and soon got knocked out. Now the original Thunder guy comes out and takes the Surf pretty well and blasts Neymar with Thunderbolt knocking him out. <laughs> Thor out of trauma from the last battle almost okos it. Thankfully, Golbat misses Guillotine or Thor would have been eternally scarred. Imagine if that hit. Facing the last gym, the substitute gym leader met up with Thor's Thunderbolt, Hawkeye's Bullet Seed, and Black Widow's Jump Kick. He sets out his King Jia who didn't waste time in setting up a lot of double teams. One eternity later. Thankfully, Lipard blinded it so much before going down. Come on, Thor. Come on, Thor, you ain't blind. Yes! Thor, as expected, clears the last two Pokemon and we finally got the eight badges and you know what we'll do after this? Train. See, we are severely under level with the rise Pokemon at level 41 and the Elite Four is using Pokemon as high as level 55. We need to train. As we enter Victory Road, Wally aggressively approached us and looked extra weird this time. He sends out his extremely cool Lycan Rock who gave Black Widow a run for her money even having the type disadvantage. Ang angas ni Winter Soldier! His second Pokemon comes out who sets up Swords Dance in Thor's face after knocking out Lipard. It lands a plus to critical hit slash almost taking out Thor but eventually gets defeated. Here comes his ace, a fully evolved Wanda, the Scarlet Witch, who looks stunning and immediately obliterates Thor and Hawkeye. And just like in the MCU, Iron Man was her only hope. There was no other way. If she knocks out Sizer, she sweeps the remainder of the team. Then this happened. No! Why would you use Wish? You wish too much! Let's go! I wonder what she was wishing for so bad. But either way, we'll take the win. Then further on this cave, we met our rival. He sends out Loki who seemed more aggressive this time by using his own moves like Slash and Will-O-Wisp instead of transforming and actually caused Lipart and Sizer problems. No burn! Tapos confused Ray. Oh my gosh. But not again so. Hulk. Body is Loki. She sends out Thanos who now has the Mind Stone and uses Luster Purge so I double switch to Iron Man but he used the Time Stone to predict that and used Fire Blast for the knockout. 
I sent out Lipar to slow this behemoth down but I was forced to attack when it started focusing for a power stone attack. It started missing and getting fully parad and for the second time, Black Widow owned Thanos. Ha! Di makabawi! Ultron goes out and faces Black Widow looking to continue her killing spree. But after hitting one jump kick, Lipard misses the next two ones knocking herself out. Then I let Cap finish Ultron with Sky Uppercut but he wasn't able to do anything to Galactus calling up on the cosmic powers so I need to get him out of here by a roar from Thor. Let's go Thor, sige lang, sige lang. Psych! Hulk faces Taskmaster and sets up two bulk ups before taking it out with one brick break. Galactus got too greedy and uses cosmic power again instead of using his tab psychic attack so it went down to two earthquakes from Pangoro. Then we went straight to the Elite Four. The first one was Sydney, and having Dark type Pokemon Hulk, even with minus one attack and minus one accuracy, swept his whole team. Round two, fight. Then facing Phoebe, I had to use Sore since he's the only one with Dark type move, which was Bite. I set up three calm mines and knocked out three of her mons. But after a while, I remembered that Thor is not a god of fangs but the god of thunder. So I just used Thunderbolt to finish this one and move on to the next Elite Four member. Okay, so far so good. Pangatlo na to. Against the Ice type user Glacia, I tried to use Cap for the first mons with its Tab Thunder Punch and Sky Uppercut. But he just can't seem to break through the ice. Pun intended. Come on, one hit please. Deads na ako pag hindi. So I had to call on Iron Man to break it for him and his Wallerain tried to one hit KO him twice. Then... Fine, missed. <laughs> Thor entered the match telling the whole team to stop messing around and just finish the whole thing. The last trainer of the Elite Four uses Dragon-type Pokemon so fortunately, we have Iron Man prepared for this with Ice Beam. But he almost got knocked out by a flamethrower from a Flygon. But it's all good. I knew this Salamence would be a problem so I had to go on full sweat mode by setting Reflect. Okay, great job Cap. And Baton Pass a plus 2 speed stat. Lipard barely lives after two Dragon Claws and the plan is still in play. Salamence went for a stab move over Flamethrower and Iron Man Oko's him with one Ice Beam. His King Dra finishes Iron Man and Black Widow but not before it got taste. Hulk comes out and y'all know everybody's acting tough until they face Hulk. Hulk takes a stab surf from a King Dra and two stab aerial aces from Altaria to the face and didn't even flinch. And now we move on. To our friends, to our former comrades, to our old rivals, and to our new ones. It all comes down to this. The battle against the champion to be the champion. This was a double battle against a mono water team, and for sure this is gonna be tougher than the last one. I led with the Iron Man cap duo but immediately realized Wallace was playing too defensive so I had to change my game plan. I sent out Hulk and he got the guts boost. Wallace insisted on disabling our team by paralysis and confusion, which actually sucks. Also, on the way to this battle, Iron Man removed his Ice Beam for Shockwave for extra coverage. Okay, one down na tayo. Nice. What? I could not believe Pelipper lived that and got healed back up. Hulk finishes up Lantern with Earthquake and good thing Iron Man has Levitate. Come on Hulk, bigay mo na sa akin to. Yes! Here comes Namor who immediately scouts us further by using Protect. They even tried to double protect but failed. 
Iron Man snaps out of confusion and gets the high roll, bringing in Ludicolo to the battle. Being paralyzed at this point was too problematic even with the guts boost considering how Wallace was playing. Hulk was able to land another earthquake but only able to hit Ludicolo. Then they double surfed, knocking out Iron Man and almost knocking out Hulk too. I had to bring in someone who will take an earthquake from Hulk and it just had to be Hawkeye. Sorry, Hawkeye. Alam ko makuna to si Ludicolo. Yes! Isa pa! Nice. Namor lives after the earthquake and immediately attacks Hulk for the kill. Black Widow and Cap held their own as a duo and disabled Politoed for the first few turns. Then Cap took the opportunity to hit Namor with the Mjolnir to knock it out. His last Pokemon is probably the craziest thing I saw in this gameplay when it was revealed to be Aquaman as Marcinian Suicune. It immediately blasts a stab rain boosted Hydro Pump giving Lipard no chance to live. Okay, okay, 2v2 na kaya to. We have the type advantage. I knew immediately that Suicune was the obvious bigger threat. Cap's Thunder Punch didn't even dealt 50% to it and to make things worse, it recovers HP due to Rain Dish while Thor loses some due to Poison. Miss! Miss! No! Come on, Captain. Kaya mo yan. Come on. No! This should kill, right? Okay, let's go. 1v1. After this, kailangan niya mag-miss ng Hydro Pump or ma-paralyze. Or crit. Or crit. Thor doesn't need mercy. He is Thor Odin's son. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We've done it, guys. Finally. That's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, hit that subscribe button and drop a like as it helps me out a ton in making more videos. Doc Perry out. Bye.